July the 11th. When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? Job 34, verse 29. None of these things move me. Acts 20, verse 24. I've many a cross to take up now, and many left behind, but present troubles move me not, nor shake my quiet mind. And what may be tomorrow's cross? I never seek to find. My father says, leave that to me, and keep a quiet mind. And whether it's future or past, it's important to realize that what we can do something about is the present. Let us then think only of the present and not even permit our minds to wander with curiosity in the future. This future is not yet ours. Perhaps it never will be. It is exposing ourselves to temptation to wish to anticipate God and to prepare ourselves for things which he may not destine for us. If such things should come to pass, he will give us light and strength according to the need. Why should we desire to meet difficulties prematurely when we have neither strength nor light as yet provided for them? Let us give heed to the present, whose duties are pressing. It is fidelity to the present, which prepares us for fidelity in the future. Francois de la Moth Fenelon. And, you know, hedonism. This is a form of hedonism here. Most people don't know what hedonism and epicureanism and specifically are, but, you know. Every hour comes with some little faggot of God's will fastened upon its back. F.W. Faber. Now, that totally means something different than nowadays, but, you know, a bundle of sticks. You know, firewood, whatnot. 